This is Emma How Smith. You? You're on the Wall Street Journal Digital, Digital Network. Enjoy our football show. Welcome to the WSJ Digital Network. I'm Wendy Bounds. And Super Bowl 47 is just around the corner with the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Baltimore Ravens. It is the biggest TV event of the year, but if you're not in it for the game, well, then we have this gift just for you. What will you be advertising? GoDaddy.com. Whoa. I just bought stock. You just saw me buy stock. No big deal. I mean, you know, if I can do it, you can do it. Whoa. You want one? Sorry. <laughs> Too bad you're down there. I love beer. Can I get some love? Oh, sweet mother! My God! I feel like a hippie in a drum circle. My back hurts. Now my front hurts. know how to say this other than to just say it you're amazing the best i've ever had i could do a routine where i went like this Ooh. surely by now you must realize that you're upsetting the committee i'm sorry i didn't mean to upset the committee <sighs> Stick around, we've got some sneak previews of this year's ads coming up, but first, our halftime report. All eyes and ears on Beyonce this go around as she reunites with Destiny's Child. The Super Bowl halftime show has grown from a once little fussed over marching band sideshow to one of the most coveted gigs in the music business. It's a little wonder that for the last three years, the game has won the title of most watched TV broadcast ever. Musical talent like the Rolling Stones, Bruce Springsteen, P. Diddy, and Madonna have taken to the stage to wow the crowd while the players take a breather. The musical talent that play the Super Bowl halftime show actually don't get paid to perform. It's all about the exposure, social media buzz, and boosting album sales. Sometimes there's a bit more exposure than anyone bargained for. You may not be able to recall which team won the Super Bowl title in 2004, but who can forget Justin Timberlake and Janet Jackson's revealing performance that made the term wardrobe malfunction a household phrase. Indecency hit the halftime show again last year after rapper M.I.A gave America the one finger salute, if you know what I mean, while on stage with Madonna. This year, all eyes are on Beyonce, whose highly anticipated performance is generating buzz with the reunion of Destiny's Child. The group will perform a song from their upcoming album, Love Songs. What's so proud Bets on Monday's water cooler talk? Did Beyonce lip sync or not? And of course, which team was able to put a ring on it? A Super Bowl ring, that is. For the Wall Street Journal, I'm Kelsey Hubbard. How big a football fan are you? Big enough to get married on the field? Check out how these super fans rolled when it came to holy matrimony. Ah, weddings. The frilly white dresses, the bottomless champagne, the beautiful bouquets, and the whistles? Some extreme football fans are putting a new spin on matrimonial bliss, trading in pillows for pigskin. Ticket stub invitations, 
stadium-shaped cakes. How's this for an entrance? Some lovers commit to the tiniest detail, cufflinks and roses made of football leather. The trend is catching on. Sportsthemedweddings.com threw about 300 sports weddings last year. That's 10 times more than in 2010. The Cortez couple spent $10,000 on their special day, kicking it off with the national anthem. Love is patient, love is kind. Love Ever imagine you'd hear a referee reading scripture? Conceded. I promise to always love you. Even the couple's vows showed team spirit. And I also promise, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> to wear your Raiders jersey. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I think them. I might cry. <laughs> Gabe is still waiting for his wife, a diehard Bears fan, to fulfill that vow. A lucky few have said their I do's on a pro football field. The Dominowski's wet on the Baltimore Ravens home turf. It's a costly affair. Renting the arena alone starts at $10,000 for 125 guests, says party planner Extraordinary Events. Is that a football lace garter I see? Hey, if it works for you. <laughs> at these bashes, one thing is certain. There's no penalty for excessive celebration. For The Wall Street Journal, this is Linda Freund. Friends, with a heart full of joy, I give to you Mr. And finally, a sneak peek at a few Super Bowl ads aimed for this year's February 3rd game. Any favorites? Tweet us at at WSJVideo after you watch. watching. Mio Fit will be introduced by a new spokesperson. Hey, can you say on TV? You missed the spot. next week with pre-game coverage from New Orleans and a cheat sheet from the WSJ sports team on how to talk smart about the game. Don't forget to tell us your favorite Super Bowl ad of all time. Tweet at WSJ Video. Until then, I'll work on my throw a little bit. Oh.